We're just about ready to go. Agassiz Valley Conference football and Nelson waiting for the toot on the tutor by the official. There it is. Nelson will come forward. There's a kick, a short kick. It'll be picked up by Kappas at the 10. He's up to the 15, goes to the far side to the 20, and he's going to be hit down as he gets to the 28-yard line, or 24-yard line. First and 10 on that side. Let's see just where they put it down on the 24. Gappas came right up the middle. Then they tried to set a wall on the far side. It did not uh, materialize that well, and Gappas was wrestled down to get to 24. They line up in an eye formation. Flank comes on the right side. Ennen is the quarterback. Gappas the fullback. They bark out the signal. And there's a flag on the play. I think the left guard got too quick a start. Left guard getting off there too quickly. And here come the Rotsy flashes in to watch this one. We see that chubby little Danielson kid coming in. All right, ready to go. Lake Park up over the ball, leading them out is Jacobs. They line up in an eye with a flank on the right side. And in the quarterback, barks out the signal. And in. Hands off, breaking to the outside, getting some good running room. Hendrickson, and he's hit out of bounds as he gets out to the 35, the 34-yard line. That'll be enough for the first down. Good fake in the backfield to set it up. First down at 10, Lake Park at the 34, in the territory of Lake Park. All right, they line up in an eye, and this time they put uh, Hendrickson as a flank on the right side. And back at the tailback, uh, at the fullback is Kappas. There's the handoff going right up the middle is Ness, and Ness will get out to the 35. In on a defensive play that time, we get a look at Rick Nilsson. Let's give him two, second down and eight yards to go. All right, up over the ball again. They come with a flank on the right side. The flank man is Hendrickson. Waiting with a long count this time. There's a pitch back, trying to get outside is Ness. Ness is going to be hit down, loss of one, making the defensive play that time with Dan Rockness. Rockness coming up, putting the popper on him very quickly as he tried to come to the left side. It'll be a third down and nine yards to go. They flip-flop their ends now. As going to the far side will be Dave Bang, and coming to the near side will be Simonson. Or excuse me, number 86, Heimdall. Flank on the right, eye formation, in and a quarterback, barks him out. In and hands off, breaking through on the far side to the 39-yard level goes Ness. Ness is hit by Cavalry, and it'll be a fourth down now, and about... Four yards to go. Third and about four. They run out of the eye again. And the flank on the far side this time will be Hendrickson. No, they go. It's a fourth down. Excuse me. They're in punt formation. Walled back in safety. The snap is good. Savage supposed to be a good kicker. Left foot's a line drive up. It'll roll down and go dead at about the 16-yard line. About 24 yards from line of scrimmage on the punt. He's a sidewinder, a left footer, and he got an end over ender away that time. All right, Hillcrest will have their first offensive show right here. They come, they put the ball down right exactly on the 16. Martin's in the quarterback, barks out the signals, long count this time. Martinson hands off Cavalli, uh, and Cavalli will go over the 20 to the 21. Popped down over there very quickly by Jeff Kamstra, 200-pound senior. 
Let's give him about uh, four on the play, and it'll be a second down and a long six. <coughs> Dana, fit day out for man or beast, I'll tell you. All right, out of the wishbone. Bangs a short man in that wishbone. Martinson barks out the signals. Martinson hands off Wold. Wold puts his head down. He'll get over to about the 23-yard line. The first guy to get to him on the defensive side of that thing had to be Kurt Knutson, 186-pound junior, and then he got a lot of help. He would not let Mr. Wold turn that corner. Wouldn't let him get outside. It'll be third down in a long two. Up over the ball. In the wishbone again. The wishbone up pretty tight this time. Martinson down underneath. Martinson barks out the signal. Martinson hands off the fullback, and Bangs is going to be hit as he gets to the 25. He's not going to have enough for the first down. Coming away on the play defensively was Doug Kappas. It'll be fourth down, about a yard and a half. Well, we're in a kicking situation, but apparently they're not going to kick. I formation, flank on the right side is Bangs. Martinson gets the ball. There's a quick kick, they snap it back, and uh, it is gonna roll, partially blocked, roll dead up at about the 40, our 36 yard line, territory of Hillcrest, and Lake Park have good field position. First and 10, Lake Park. Their second offensive shot at it. Only one it in here from Rotsey to scout this one is the mayor himself. All right, I formation. Flank dump, dumped off on the left side. Even on the defense. Hand off right up the middle and getting about four yards this time would be Ness. Ness is wrapped up by Cavalry as he gets to about the 32-yard line. Second down, six yards to go. Flank comes right as they deuce it in the backfield this time. And in the quarterback. Let's see if they'll counter back from it. Nope. And the quarterback fumbles the ball, falls on it back at the 39. And then faked the handoff, then dropped the ball and had to cover it back at the 39. It'll be a third down and about 13 yards to go. Six minutes, 13 seconds remaining in the first period. Hillcrest and Lake Park. Agassiz Valley Conference football. They deuce it in the backfield, flank left again. Ness and Kappas, the two deuce men in the backfield. There's a snap, and a quarterback rolls to the naked side, comes inside, going to be hit down as a flag on the play as he'll get to about the 30 five-yard line. Cavalry making the defense a play. Let's see what the flag is about. We'll see a hold against Lake Park. Well, the ball is up to about the 36-yard line. Bill Kolbeck, and we've uh, added a son on that. We call it Bill Kolbeckson because he's uh, an adopted Norwegian. Holding, they'll step off to 10. And the ball will come back now. To the 29 yard line. Five forty-seven remaining in the period. They want the clock a running. All right, there's the snap. Rolling back is Ennen. Ennen fires it out on the side. Incomplete. Ooh, I thought we might have seen some interference there as Cavalier chested him as the pass was intended on the far side for Mark Thompson. It'll be a fourth down and about 25 yards to go. There's a snap, Savic 
gets a high boomer away. Wold calls for the fair, gets dropped the ball, and Lake Park will have it at the 31. Recovering the fumble off that fair catch was Eric Hendrickson. And Lake Park have had the opportunities once again here in the first period, this time at the 31 in the territory of the Comets. I formation, flank comes right, and in the quarterback, down in underneath, barks out the signal, hands off the nest. Oh, is he hit? Loss of about three by Wold. Well, Wold uh, mishandling that fair catch says, I'm going to get even with those birds. And did he put the kibosh on Mr. Ness? It'll be second down and 13. In the eye again. Plank on the left side. And in a quarterback. Four men up front on the defense. There's a pitch. They try to get Ness outside. Cuts back in. He's going to get to the 30, and that's it. Probably off the bottom of the stack again. And it'll be a third down and about 11 yards to go. Goes to Lennon across the way, imploring his guys to get something going. Four minutes, 15 seconds still remaining in the first period. I formation flank right, four on the defense. Ennen parks out the signal. Ennen drops back to throw. Ennen fires it out on the side. Nearly intercepted, nearly caught, and then nearly intercepted again. Kavli had a shot at it. Then Savick had a shot at it. And then, uh, Number 30, Mendes had a shot at it, so they all had a crack at it. Savick will go back in punt formation. Nobody back. Here they come. There's a kick. He just lays it down, watching it roll, and down at the eight-yard line there by Hendrickson. Just hit that one softly, let it roll inside the 10 at the eight-yard line. First and 10, Hillcrest with 3.52 to go in the opening period. All right, ready as Hillcrest come up over the ball. They line up in that familiar wishbone. Balanced on the line, ends in tight. Marks and marks him out. Marks and hands up. Cavalier to the outside, breaks a couple, gets away, he's at the 40. Our 30 and hit down at the 35 yard line and a touchdown saving tackle that time by Kamstra. It'll be a first down as Cavalier comes down, they say down to the 34 yard line. We get a nine man game in the afternoon, 11 man at night, and at 50 and 40 give us trouble. Out of the wishbone. Marks it backing him out. Marks it back to throw. He fires. His man is down there. Caught a touchdown. Touchdown pass. And that would be a 51 yarder. 51 yard pass. Hitting Dave Bang. Boy, that wasn't the most artistic throw, but it got there. Fifty-one yards, and that came with 3.07 to go in the first period. Hillcrest leading at six zip. Back there covering on a play with Hendrickson. He couldn't stay with it. Line up in that wishbone again. Martinson barking out the signal. Martinson deep. There's a little pass up in. Intercepted. Boy, they had it set up well, but he couldn't get the pass away. Six to nothing. Hillcrest lead it. We'll be back in a minute. Come into Perkins today and watch a one-third pound burger turn into a delicious feast. Perkins introduces the all-new Grandwiches. 
bite into a tasty ham and cheese grandwich. A generous helping of lean and tender ham, melted Swiss or American cheese, and one third pound of Perkins top quality beef. Or try the sour cream onion and tomato grandwich. Sliced onions and sour cream garnished with two fresh tomato slices. Try a grandwich today at Perkins Cake and Steak, I-94 and 210 West in Fergus Falls. If you've been considering the purchase of a new tractor this year, buy a new 40 to 275 horsepower John Deere tractor from Eversville or Implement in Fergus Falls. No finance charges will accrue until March 1st, 1982. This same money-saving offer applies to all used tractors and new John Deere and used implements sold with the tractor. A limited time offer, so stop in at Eversville or Implement. Nothing runs like a deer. Well, we're back again. Dave Bank getting that touchdown, a 51-yard shot from Martinson. And Hillcrest lead is six up here in the first period. A high kick, not too deep. Picked up by Hendrickson. He's at the 15 to the 20 and down right at the 21-yard line. Looked like Mark Bank getting over there to make the tackle. We had to look around the post here. Our eyeballs don't shoot curves yet. 2.52 remaining here in the first period. Six to nothing, Hillcrest leading. Lake Park coming up over the ball. They line up with Ness, the deep man. Cap is the short man. Hendrickson, the flank on the right side, is in and parks them out. In and rolls right. They got blockers in front, but they play it well, and Wolf comes up on the inside to make the tackle at the 20. Now, you can say what you want. Wold made the tackle, but the guy who's got to get credit on that play has to be uh, Dave Bank for stretching that play out and giving Wold a chance to come up and put the kibosh on. Out of the eye again. Flank comes right. And the officials stopping the clock. Now we're ready to go again. All right, now they switch their flank to the left side. They run out of the eye. In and down underneath. In and hands off to Ness. Oh, he nearly lost the ball. Got over the 20 to 21. And wrapped up there by Banks. And this time we get a look at Mark Banks. Second down. No yardage on the play. For all intents, we got 10. Guy up there in the car, you got your lights on. Turn them off, you may not get home tonight. Atta boy, someone's listening. All right, out of the deuce in the backfield, flank comes right. In and flag on the play, hands off to Kappas. Kappas is slowed down on a play by Stabsrud, and then he got a lot of help. Illegal procedure will be assessed against Lake Park. Up there coming to help on the tackle was Heimdall, but Stems was really the first guy to get to him. 117 remaining in the first period. Hillcrest leading it six to nothing, trying to preserve their unbeaten strength and set things up for the biggie at Rotsy next Friday night. Oh, that'll be some kind of a football game. All right, fourth down. Now they change it on the marker across the way. Savick back in punt formation. They don't believe he's going to kick, but I think he is. There's the snap, the kick. He gets it away. A good kick this time. And it takes a Lake Park roll, and it's going to be down at the 19-yard line by Hendrickson. Hillcrest will come offensively from their 19-yard line. They lead six to nothing here in the first period. Well, some of the people out here today won't have to take their Saturday night bath. They're going to get wet enough here. All right, ready to go. Hillcrest up over the ball. Let's watch uh, Lake Park on the defense. They go odd man on the defense. Looking at a deuce back still flank to the right side. Martinson barks him out. Martinson pitches back to Cavalry. Turns inside. Gets away from one. Gets away from two. He'll get over the 25 to the 27-yard line. Tackle there made by Mark Thompson. 
and Thompson was assisted on the play that time by Kamstra. It'll be second down and a long two as we have 32 seconds remaining in the first period. Six to nothing, Hillcrest lead it. They wishbone it in the backfield, odd man defense. Martinson looking at the defense, now barks out the signal, hands off the fullback bags, he's not going to get the first down hit immediately. Kamstra is over there, and uh, with nine seconds remaining here in the first period, Hillcrest leading Lake Park six to nothing. Hillcrest with a timeout, we'll go back for 30 seconds. Fergus Motors is your area Dodge Chrysler Plymouth dealer across from City Hall in Fergus Falls. At Steenerson Lumber in Fergus Falls, you can be assured of always receiving the highest value products possible, including quality Ace paints and hardware, Star Mark cabinets, Armstrong and Owens Corning ceilings, Skill and Black and Decker power tools, also Anderson and Karatko windows. Steenerson Lumber also has complete plumbing and electrical departments, as well as full lines of lumber and paneling. Whatever your building or remodeling needs, ask the experienced personnel at Steeners and Lumber, your ace hardware dealer, across from the fire department on East Washington Avenue in Fergus Falls. I stand to come back to the squealing pig once again. We have nine seconds remaining in the first period. Hillcrest top side at six zip on a 51-yard aerial. Hillcrest with the ball now with a third down and about a yard and a half as they have the ball right smack dab on their 29-yard line. Martinson, the quarterback, has them lined up in the huddle. Now they break out. Let's see how they go. They will go deuced in the backfield, and the flank will flop around on the left side. Even on the defense this time. All right, ready to go. Martinson barks him out. Martinson hands off Wold right up the middle. Wold to the outside has the first down. He's at the 38 in the territory of Lake Park, where Hendrickson makes the tackle along with number 77, Knutson. Three seconds remaining in the period. I don't believe we'll get another play in. As soon as the stakes are down, they'll crank it up. There it is, six to nothing, Hillcrest after one. We'll be back in a minute. Lots of people think that money is hard to get right now. Well, not so. Northwestern Bank of Fergus Falls has plenty of money available, especially for home improvements. And making home improvements right now is smart because most of them add to the value of your home, in addition to making it a nicer place to live. And in fact, energy-saving improvements may even have tax advantages. So whatever your house needs to make it more comfortable, more energy efficient, or just plain and simply more livable, you'll probably find the money for it, with payments tailored to fit your budget, too, at Northwestern Bank. Member FDIC. Run your side. If you need a good, clean, reliable, late-model used car or truck, you need quality auto sales at 625 East Vernon in Fergus Falls. You need to talk to one of those friendly, helpful guys at Quality Auto Sales. Got stop hold for Paul Tisber. You need to see their lineup of quality used cars and trucks. And you need to remember this phone number, 739-3247. That's 739-3247. Quality Auto Sales, Fergus Falls. Need I say more? All right, on the first play of the second period, a handoff to Wold. He tried to skirt off the right side, but Tappas wrestled him down. One yard gain, it'll be second down and nine. 11.34 remaining in the first half. Out of a deuce in the backfield, Frank goes left. Three down linemen, and we're gonna have a legal procedure. Someone a popping and a jumping in that line, and it'll cost them. It'll be a second down now and about 14 yards to go. Reminder tonight, we have Fergus Bald High School and uh, Moorhead High Spuds. Tomorrow it's community college football time. The unbeaten Fergus Bald Community College Spartans, 14th ranked in the nation. All right, deuced in the backfield, flank left. Martinson, a little counter back to Cavalry, and Campus right there again. I tell you, we're going to give number one son, Big Steven, that Campus kid name. He's a good-looking football player. Campus is a senior, 200 pounds. 
He'd go right in there with the likes of the kids from the area, like uh, Moore from over at Bertha Hewitt, Hughesby from Pelican Rapids, uh, Tisdall from Fergus Falls, and I'll tell you, the community college is going to be tough again next year. All right, Deuce in the backfield, flank left. Back to throw is Markson. Good pressure. Screens it out on the side to Cavalier. Being chased, he gets away from a couple. Fights his way down inside the 35 to about the 33-yard line. Whole host of tacklers there to get to him. The first guys to get to him, however, we got to give credit to number 33 would be Ness. And number 77 would be Knutson. And it'll be a fourth down situation, about five yards to go. Yes, sir, it may be duck weather, but it sure is that devil ain't football weather. Even any self-respecting duck would have enough sense to stay out of this. Back in punt formation goes Wold. Hendrickson will go back in single safety. The snap, oh, it's a short one, they fake it, and uh, Martinson going to throw, and he's hit down at the midfield stripe, knocked down there by Anderson, guy that really put the pressure on him, though, who really forced him to drop back far than he wanted to was Kamstra, and Lake Park will take over right smack dab at the midfield stripe, and nine men, of course, that's the 40-yard line. Nine minutes, 35 seconds remaining in the first half. Hillcrest hanging on, six zip. Up over the ball, I formation, flank dumped around on the right side, even on the defense as they go four up front. Ennen barking out the signal. Ennen, we got a flag on the play as the right tackle was popping. He looked like that old pheasant rooster. Trying to scrunch down so he couldn't get popped. It'll go back now to the 35-yard line. It'll be a first down and 15. Ness, the deep man in that eye formation, has a flank on the left side this time, even defensive front. And it looks at the defense. Barks out the signal, hands off. Ness comes off the left side. He's going to get back to about the 38. Cavalier in on the tackle along this time with uh, Bangs. That would be Mark Bang. And it'll be a second down. Picked up about four on the play. Lake Park up over the ball. Deuced in the backfield, flank right again. Even on the defense, Ennen takes a look at his club. Now he has him set up. Now he hands off to Kappas. Kappas puts his head down, he'll get to the 40. Making the defense to play, first one to get to him was Dave Banks, number 80. Eight minutes, five seconds remaining in the first half. Elcrest leading it, six zip. Deuce in the backfield, flank right, even on the defense again. Hennon looks at his flanker. Got Hendrickson on the flank. Back to throw. He looks, fires it out on the side. Intercepted by Cavalry and hit down at the 35. Pass was intended that time for number 35, Barry Nelson. And Cavalier just stepped right in front of, timed it perfectly, and very hit him enough so he went down at the 35, territory of Hillcrest. Up over the ball, out of that wishbone again. Hot man defense. Martinson barks him out. Martins and a little kind of back to Wold. Wold breaks a couple of tackles. Hit down as he goes to the 35 in the territory of Lake Park. And right there, putting the stop around him was Jimmy Anderson. First and 10. Wold did not get a very quick start on that one. He just dug Anderson about four or five yards with him. Hillcrest coming up over the ball. 
They lead six to nothing, run out the wishbone, hot on the defense again. As Martinson barks out the signal. Martinson, long count this time, pitches back, whoa, outside. Cuts back on the inside. He's gonna get down close to the 31 and that's it. Kappas is over there, number 86, probably the first guy to get to it be Mark Thompson. It'll be second down and about five and a half as the clock rolls down to 6.38, remaining in the first half. On a rainy, rainy afternoon. So what's been new all fall? All right, let's see how they go this time. This time they go to Deuce in the backfield, flank left with Bang. Ends both in tight. Out on the defense. There's a counter coming back this time. The Cavalry going to get a couple. That's it. Good defensive play on a corner that time. Coming up to make the stop was Kappas again. Now, don't take it wrong. This Kappas kid, if you're an old-timer, you remember the old uh, black pot bellied stove? Well, he's built down... Built down there just like one of those big legs. Big through the waist and strong as an ox. All right, out of the wishbone. Ready to go. Hand off. Bangs, he won't get anything. And look who's on the bottom of the stack. Number 24, Kappas. And we're going to have to find out if LeVang doesn't run out of space how many tackles he's got by the end of the afternoon. Seven tackles already here. Maybe the Lake Park guys are a little more generous. <laughs> All right, ready to go. Out of a flank on the right side. Line up in an eye this time. There's a hand up to Cavalier, and he is wrapped up very nicely by Jimmy Anderson. Boy, Anderson just came. There's a piece of Chinese lint laundry on the field. They pick it up, and apparently against Hillcrest as Lake Park have held again. This time at their 29. Well, someday we're gonna stop up there at Lake Park and have a hamburger with Don Askelson at his little hamburger joint. He used to be my fullback at Felton 100 years ago. Out of the wishbone, and that's the first time we've seen him in that formation, even on a defense, and then back to throw. He screams it up to campus. Campus up the middle, darts away from one, over the 40 and down to the 37-yard line. Hannon did a beautiful job on that. He let everybody come. I suppose we could use the word heck bent for election. And then he just straightened up and threw it to Campus, And Campus stopped his way to the 37 in the territory of Hillcrest. If you want comparative scores, I believe last week that score was 16 to nothing. 18 to nothing, Rodsie defeated uh, this same Lake Park crew. Those two Giants meet next week, Rodsie and Hillcrest. There's the pitch, Ness dropped the ball, and uh, it's gonna be picked up by Stantrude, I believe. Yes, right at the midfield stripe. Boy, talk about walking into a bubble. He came through that slot, and all he had to do was fall down on it. We're just glad he nuzzled down on it because as big as he is, if he'd have fallen on that football, he may have deflated it. 240 pound junior. Four minutes remaining in the first half. Hillcrest leading it six zip. Let's see if they can take advantage of this one. Boy, when we had Donnie Askelson fours over belt, Lake Park had the Wild Rice Children's Home, and did they have some football players from there? All right, back to throw is Martinson. Fires it out, wide open, bang. He can't hang on at about the 30-yard line. Covering on a play was Hendrickson, but he was beaten on the throw. Dave Bangs couldn't find the handle on it. Three minutes, 35 seconds remaining in the first half. Oh. 
The two setbacks, Cavley and Wold, as Bang flanks on the left side. Martinson rolls left. Martinson wants to turn the corner, then dumps it off to Cavley. Oh, he dropped it. Hit him right in the worst place, right in the hand. Three minutes, 29 seconds remaining in a half. Right in the old meat hooks, and old clank hands couldn't hang on. It'll be third down in 10 yards to go, and he'll look up in the sky once again for one. Boy, I tell you, Bangs was there the other time. Cavley was there on this one. Neither guy able to find the handle on the football. The old squealing pig got away. 3.29 remaining here in the first half. Hillcrest leading Lake Park 6 to nothing on a 51-yard aerial. Deuce in the backfield, flank left. Back to throw is Martinson. Martinson fires it downfield. Complete and incomplete. They say he did not have control, and you got to give credit on that play to number 86 Thompson literally tore the ball right out of his hand as uh, Banks came down with it. Fourth down and 10. Three minutes, 21 seconds remaining in the first half. Reminder, tonight, high school football, Fergus Balls against the Moorhead High School Spuds. Spuds have not been scored on in their last four football games. All right, in punt formation. The snap all the way back, not a bad snap. The kick, an end over end kick. And let's see what it does. It takes a Hillcrest roll, goes into the eight yard line, and that punt there was made by Mark Meyer. All right. Lake Park will come over at their eight-yard line. They're on the short end of the stick at six zip. Even Steven football game, except for the bomb that Martinson laid in the outstretched hands of uh, Dave Bang. Out of the eye, flank right, and then the quarterback box out the signal. In it. Hands up, nest to the outside, then cuts back in over the 10 to maybe the 11-yard line. Cavalier is there, also bang on the bottom of that stack. Bang the first one to get to him, and that would be Mark Bang. Banging on Ness. Hendrickson comes out. And let's see what they come up with now. Going out on the far side would be Lovell. And he is really flanked out on the right side. Let's see if they'll run his straight down pattern and crank one to him. All right, Hennon, hands on ball at Bumbles, came right back up into Ness's hands as he got the 11. Over there covering on the play to make sure he got nowhere was Eric Simonson. Boy, that came up just like a basketball or like a yo-yo on a string. Get that green grass and puck right back up to him. One minute, 55 seconds remaining in the first period. Like to thank Hillcrest for the excellent chair that we have to enjoy these games in. Right up the middle, and he'll get out as far as the 16-yard line. And they're going to bring the chains in very close. They say the knee actually, or the ball actually, get out to closer to the 17. Clock stops, one and a half minutes remaining. 90 seconds remaining in the first half. Well, we're going to have a little party here at halftime. Mark Levang brought some hot chocolate up. We're all going to partake of it. Not over 15 guys up here in the booth. He may even get a drink of it. Six to nothing, Hillcrest topside. Hendrickson comes back in and Lobo goes out. They get the first down. You're back deep in your territory. You're not going to take any unnecessary chances here because you're very much in the ball game at 6-0. You don't want to let Hillcrest go in with that extra touchdown at halftime. Out of the eye, even on the defense. Flank goes to the right side as Ennen barks out the signal. And it hands off. Ness, nothing.
And with one uh, four to go in the first half, Lake Park takes a timeout. We'll go back for 30 seconds. Listen up. School's about to begin, and Athletic Attic has some of the best deals you'll find on sports clothes and equipment. Athletic footwear and sport clothing and equipment for the entire family at the Athletic Attic in the Westridge Mall in Fergus Falls. Hustle on down to Athletic Attic today and tell them Coach sent you. Athletic Attic has the very best, the best in sports for you. And here comes Big Brad Erickson from Rossi, going to fill up his face with a little food from the concession stand down below. Incidentally, any of friends of Don Askelson's over there at Lake Park, we have a movie, a 10-minute movie of when Don played fullback in Phelps in a ball game, the first one they won after going three years without a victory. And I'll tell you, the next year they won the conference title. They were a good ball club. Young to start with, but they came on strong. All right, eye formation. And in the quarterback, down and underneath. They flanked way out on the left side. And then rolls right. And then on the weak side is going to get out to the 20, and that's it. It'll be a third down. Clock down to 52 seconds remaining in the first half. And as we said, Coach Lennon not very anxious to get into trouble right here. All right, and there's the pitch. Nelson cuts in, or Ness cuts inside. He's going to get to the 22, and that's it. A host of comets there to make the stop. And with 33 seconds remaining in the first half, third down, or fourth down, rather. And about uh, six yards to go. Blake Park with a timeout. We'll spend 30 seconds back at the studio. Well, apparently they did not pick us up back at the studio, so we'll stay right here with it. Fourth down. And you can bet your bottom dollar that the only guy that won't be rushing on this punt attempt will be Coach Dick Ristroot. The whole bunch will be coming trying to block it with the 33 seconds remaining in the first half. Well, I'll tell you, the four cheerleaders, they spend all week fixing their hair so they'll look pretty for the football game. And the good Lord gave him a shower of rain and took care of all those nice hairdos. You know the old uh, saying, they look like drowned rats? Well, I'll tell you, the, the hair does not do the most for him this afternoon. Savick back in punt formation. There's a snap, and he's going to pass it. Fires it downfield, and it is... Nearly intercepted by Wold. You could just about guess he was going to fake that one because he uh, practiced uh, punting a couple times back there before the snap. And now Hillcrest have 25 seconds, and they have the ball at the 22-yard line in Lake Park territory. They take a timeout, and we'll go back for 30 seconds. Due to cancellations because of illness, four seats are still available for the October 14th Nashville Motor Coach trip. Call Fred Dahlstrom at Darby Travel Bureau, 736-5424 in Fergus Falls. Toll free, 1-800-492-4838 from other parts of Minnesota. Otter Tail Power says you can cut your heating bills on their controlled service rate. Call Otter Tail for more details. All right, we're back again. I'll tell you, that's got to be the blind leading the blind. There's a wall down there holding the umbrella while Kil Reverend Kildy is taking pictures. The best picture in a joint would be to get a shot of those two birds under the umbrella. All right, we're waiting with 25 seconds remaining here in the first half. Hillcrest top side of Lake Park. Six zip and a very crucial 
Agassiz Valley Conference football game especially so for the uh, Hillcrest Academy Commons. Of course, for Lake Park, they'd like to get back on the winning side. We thought that they would probably be one of the better football teams in the conference this year. I don't know what's happened to them. They certainly have some outstanding individuals on their ball club. Out of the eye, flank goes left. Markson, Mark counters back. Bangs trying to get some room, none. He's hit back at the 25 yard line and look at the guy who made the stop, Kappas again. Clock rolling. Oh, someone took a timeout. Hillcrest took a timeout. Holy cat, there's that Donald Askelson. He'll do anything to get out of the rain. Of course, he was all wet to start with. <laughs> Six to nothing, Hillcrest top side with 20 seconds remaining here in uh, the first half of play. The least you could have done is brought one of those greasy hamburgers from your hamburger place over at Lake Park. Lake Park will kick the ball. And Hillcrest will come offensively. And the kicker will be Kappas. 200 pounder, a good looking high school football player. Lake Parks have some excellent football players. Their record, very deceiving. Wold and back on the far side, Mundus. And the kick is picked off by Bangs. He's out to the 20. He's to the 25. Up the middle he goes over the 30 to the 32 yard line. Kappas in on the defensive play. Also coming away from the bottom of that stack, we get a look at Barry Nelson. And Mr. Eulen Hitterdahl just walks by. Mr. Rattle. Big John. All right, ready to go now as they run out of the wishbone again. Odd on the defense. Marks in the quarterback. He has been in there all the way. Marks and barks out a long count this time. Still barking him out. And we got a flag. And let's see what this one is. Delay. Up. Oh, illegal procedure. Tippy Stendrud bouncing around, and it cost him five. First down and 15. Agassiz Valley Conference football. All right, they line up in a wishbone. Odd on the defense, Markson marks him out. Markson hands off, and Wold will bust up the middle. He'll go over to 30 to about the 34-yard line. Good run by Wold. On the bottom of the stack, we get a lick quick at Mark Thompson. First one to get to him. 11 minutes, three seconds remaining here in the third period. Six to nothing, Hillcrest hanging on. Ready to go again, out of that wishbone, out on the defense again. Martinson, Martinson back to throw, he's got a man there! He's got it at the 30, down the sideline, hit out of bounds. The 20 yard line goes Simonson. Popping him out was uh, Hendrickson. Oh, I tell you, Simonson was wide open. Had it been a nicer, warmer day, he could have sat down for a picnic lunch, gobbled that one up and went. First and 10 as the ball comes inside the 20 to the 19. That time, Simonson went down about 10 steps, just cut to the outside, and Martinson hit him with a blue darter. Out of a deuce in the backfield, flank goes left. Out on the defense, a handoff this time to Wold. Wold will go to the 15. Racked up there by Ness, and Ness got a lot of help that time on the play by Jimmy Anderson. Let's give him three, call it second down and seven, with 10-15 remaining in the third period. Right now, we're coming down with a cold, and our nose is running as fast as our mouth. Out of the wishbone. 
Barton's and barks him out. Barton's and pitches back. Cavalry to the outside. He's at the 15. Loses the ball, but he's out of bounds at about the 12. Kappas over there wrapping him up. It'll be a third down. They got to go to the nine. They got about two, a long two. Third down and about two and a half, probably even closer to the three. They put it back just a little bit. All right, out of the wishbone again. This has been their basic offense. Odd on the defense. Now they shift a man up in. There's a handoff to Cavalry. He's going to get to the 10, and that's it. He's still short of the first down. Making the defense to play with Jacobs. Fourth down and about a yard and a half. 9.37 remaining here in the third period. Well, let's see if we get some rollout action here. They had Simons to just go down short and square out. That area is alive again for him. All right, Martinson, back to throw. Fires it up the middle. Incomplete. Good all oh, flag on the play. The flag, I believe, will go against number 46 to be Hendrickson. Well, we're not that close to the situation. Did not look like a bad play from here, but the guys in the zebra striped shirts are right on the play. It'll be first down and goal as the ball will go to the five yard line. Boy, when you're living right, you're living right. All right, Lake Park digging in on the defense. They line up in a deuce in the backfield, flanking on the left side as Martins and Parks out the signal. Drops the ball, falls on it, loss of one. Right there on top of him as he popped on the ball with Jacobs. It'll be second down now and 11 yards to go for, or a six yards to go for the touchdown. Play coming in from the bench. He'll crest up over the ball. Goal line defense now for uh, Lake Park. They're really jamming it up in tight. Martinson off to Wold. Wold tries to get outside. He's going to get to about the three-yard line, and that's it. And really a pretty good defensive play that time by Knudsen as he really forced the blocker and kept uh, Wold on the inside. It'll be a third down now and still about a good two yards for the touchdown. All right, up over the ball in a deuce backfield. Frank on the right side. Martinson barks him out. Martinson pitches back. Cavalier won't get outside. He's hit at the five. And this time, a great defensive play by Kampstra. Well, you've got uh, the ball will come out now, actually to the five yard line. So it'll be fourth down and goal to go at the five. All right, Martinson ready on the wishbone this time. Martinson back to throw, squares out, intercepted, nope, knocked down by Hendrickson. Good defensive play, and Lake Park have held. Boy, had a little bit more mustard on that ball, and Hendrickson might not have gotten to it. Dave Bang thought he had the TD. He had the big old six points in the eyeballs, but Hendrickson knocked it out of there. Lake Park will take over at their five-yard line. Still not out of the woods with 7.18 to go in the third period. Wet football deep in their territory. I formation, the deep man is Ness. They flank on the right side. 
even on the defense. Ennen turns in behind his blockers. He's going to spin over the five and out to about the five and a half, and that's it. Mark Bangs in on the defensive play. Along with that, we get a look at Todd Heimdall. Second down, nine yards to go. Up again as Hendrickson splits or flanks on the left side. And in the quarterback, down in underneath, takes a look at his club. They're set. Barks out the signal. Pitches the ball back to Ness. Ness puts the head down. We got a flag on the play as he gets out to the nine. And we'll see a holding penalty going against Lake Park. And from here, it'd be a third down and about five, or a second down and about 12, as they'll go half the distance to the goal line. Coming in the ball game is Lavold for Lake Park. Hendrickson will come out. Six minutes, 35 seconds. The penalty is declined. And the ball is out to the nine yard line. So it'll be a third. Boy, he's having a heck of a time getting that down change over there. Now they move it up. Third down play right here as Hillcrest declined the penalty. Ennen down underneath. Ennen backs him out. He's back to throw. Incomplete. And we got a flag on this one. Who's it going to go against? And it's going to go against Hillcrest. Well, I think really, and from here a long ways off, it had to happen before because Nelson really climbed up the backside of the Elkrest kid, but uh, the uh, interference may have occurred before that. He might have cut him off and bumped him pretty hard as that ball was in the air. And that will bring the ball out now to the 18-yard line where it'll be a first down for Lake Park. 14 still remaining in the third period as they line up in an I formation. Great goal line stand by Lex Park to keep them alive here in the third period. I formation flank right even on the defense. Ennen barks out the signal. Ennen hands off to Ness. He'll get a couple, breaks the tackle, and goes to the 21. They had him back at about the 18. Turned it away and went up to about the uh, 20, well, let's see just where they put it down, about the 21-yard line. It'll be a second down and about seven yards to go. Gobbly in on the defensive stop. Lobold comes out. Hendrickson comes back in to replace him. They'll run out of the eye with Kappas and Ness, and they flank Hendrickson on the left side. Really flank him out wide. Ennen takes a look, has his club set. Barks out the signal. Ennen back, rolls right. Ennen on that naked reverse. Flag on the play, and he's popped back at the 19-yard line. Holding against Lake Park. One thing we noticed in Ennen when he goes to that naked side rollout, in other words, away from all his blockers, is he loops back so far. And by that time, everybody knows what he's going to do, and he gets whacked. 5-22. Remaining in the third period, held translating it 6 to nothing. And let's see if they take the penalty. They do. The ball will come back to the 10-yard line. Second down and about uh, 18 yards to go. Lake Park taking a lot of time back in that huddle. 
They can't afford another one here. All right, now they come out. And let's see how they line up. They run a single setback now as they flank a double wing team. Double wing team. All right, let's see what they do. In and down and in. In and drop straight back. In and look, fires it up the middle. Incomplete. Off the fingers of uh, one of the defenders and then through the hands of Kappas incomplete. It'll be a third down now, and still a long piece of real estate to cover for the first down. They've got to get all the way out to the 34-yard line. All right, up over the ball, leading them out is Jacob. They go to that double wing tee again. One lone setback is Ness. All right, in and drops straight back. In and it's going to be hit. He's hit it. The goal line, whoa, nearly in the end zone. It's coming in very quickly was Dave Bang. And I'll tell you, if he'd have gone one more yard back, we'd had a safety right here. In and is hurt. Seems to be uh, ripped. And now we're in a punt formation. Lavo will have no room behind him. He gets a high snap, he could step out of the end zone. He gets a good, oh, he fumbles it! And income, uh, safety, tackled in the end zone. Cavley in there, along with Cavley, we get a look at Mark Bank. He fumbled that snap, and then could not get the kick away. Cavley and uh, Bang, Mark Bang making the tackle in the end zone. And that came with 4.33 to go in the third period. And it's eight to nothing now. Hill translating it. And of course, they will be forced to kick the ball away from the 15 yard line. They can put it in play by any type of a kick, and they apparently are going to punt the ball as Savick will kick it. Bundes and Wall go deep for Hilkes. This eight points could be a very crucial thing here because they did not get anything out of their extra point drive. All right, Savick ready. Oh, did he kick one this time? Wall picks it up in the 15. Wall up to the 20 to 25. He's at the 30. Puts his head down and his hit down at the 35. Making the defensive play is Jim Anderson. Good field position now for Hillcrest, who lead it eight to nothing here in the third period. At the 35, territory of Hillcrest, they'll come first and 10. They line up in a deuce in the backfield with Cavalry and Wold. Bang flanks on the left side, odd on the defense. There's a handoff to Wold. Wold, there's a flag on the play, and we're going to see a hold, I believe. Wold got in over the uh, 35 to the 34-yard line. Hillcrest moving back. The penalty will go against Hillcrest. They're talking to Kappas. This shouldn't take much time on this one. Because actually they picked up about 11 yards on the play. There it is, holding the signal by the official. They'll go back and the ball will go to the 26 yard line. First and 10. Or first and 20, yeah, they got a doubler here. Boy, the first half went very quickly. The second half has really slowed down. First down, 20 yards to go as he ran out of a deuce with a flank on the left side against the odd man defense. There's a handoff to Wold. Wold spins the outside, and Kappas catches up with him right at the 25. Boy, I tell you, that Kappas is really tough, and I tell you, that Lake Park club tough. Good size, good quickness. 
Their defense outstanding. Both clubs have been outstanding on the defense. Eight to nothing. Hillcrest lead it. We have three minutes and 22 seconds still remaining in the third period. A lot of football game left. All right, now Banks and Wold are the setbacks. Back to throw, Martinson fires it on the side. And complete. The Bangs hit down very quickly up at the 29-yard line. That time by uh, Kamstra. It'll be a third down and about 16 yards to go. They aren't quite up to the 30, and they're not. They got to go to the. 34 at the other end. All right, out of the I formation. Bang the flank on the left side. Martinson barks him out. Martinson back to throw. Martinson is going to be hit. He's tackled, but gets the pass away. Oh, and nearly intercepted on the far side with a lot of green grass right there picking it off and dropping it was Kurt Knudsen. Oh, at the 30-yard line in the territory of Hillcrest. Oh, that could have been trouble time at the old corral. 2.22 remaining in the third period. A very suspect punting game for Hillcrest. At back in punt formation will be Mark Meyer. Meyer, the snap is good. The kick, he shanked it. Oh, did he shank it. And uh, Lake Park going to have great field position at the 36th in the territory of Hillcrest. Lake Park with a golden opportunity right here with 2.14 still remaining in the third period of play. A miserable football afternoon and has been drizzling all afternoon. All right, out of the eye formation. Hendrickson flanks on the right side, even on the defense. Ennen flanks him out. Ennen the hand, oh, they counter back to Hendrickson. Staying at home and making the good defensive play was Heimdall. As he hit him, picked up about a yard. And that's what you gotta do on that counter as they came back with their flanker, Hendrickson. A lot of room on the outside if Heimdall wanders away from his position, but he stayed right there and made the stop. 148 remaining in the third period. I formation. Even on the defense, Hendrickson flanks on the left side. Ennen down underneath, backs him out. Ennen hands off Peterson, finds some running room inside the 30 to the 29. Wrestled down there by Cavley, Bangs, and Mundus. It'll be a third down and about uh, three yards to go. Big plays right here. They're in four down territory, of course. There's the keep by quarterback, and he's going to get the first down, I do believe, as he gets inside the 25. First there, as Ennis just went behind those two guards and went for the first down. He got in there behind the uh, big center, Jacobs and wedged himself through for that first down. Ball just inside the Hillcrest 25. Out of the eye formation, flank on the right side. In and flanks him out, in and hands off Kappas. Hit one, busts away and goes to the 20-yard line. Boy, I'll tell you, Kappas was really popped, kept his feet, and was hit down as he got to the 20-yard line, making the defensive play with Rob Johnson. Boy, that was brick wall meeting brick wall, and he just spun away and got the four yards on it. Second down and six. We have 10 seconds remaining in the third period. Hang on to your hat. This could be a doozy right to the end. High formation, flank on the right side even on the defense. And there's the end of the third period with the score. Hillcrest eight, Lake Park 
Nothing. We'll be back in 30 seconds. When you need hydraulic hoses in a hurry, do you know where to get them? National Bushing and Parts in Fergus Falls makes quarter inch to inch and a quarter hydraulic hose assemblies while you wait. They also make power steering hoses. When a high pressure hose suddenly bursts, you need a new one right away. There's no waiting at National Bushing. No chasing around or waiting for shipments. You'll be back in business fast with custom-made hydraulic hose and power steering hose assemblies featuring Weatherhead Collo Crimp Hose Assembly Work. National Bushing and Parts, 118 Washington Avenue East in Fergus Falls. Bostwick's buys better so you can. That's not just a slogan, it's a fact. Shop the brand name Big Value Fashion Collection for the whole family at Bostwick's in the Westbridge Mall, Fergus Falls. All right, we're back again. Lake Park coming offensively as Ennen drops back to throw. Ennen in traffic is going to be hit back at the 27-yard line. Makes the defense to play with Tad Heimdall. And it'll be second down now, or third down. Boy, I've never seen anyone have so much trouble with that down marker. Too bad he got injured in that JV football game. All right, ready to go. Ennen down underneath. Ennen backed him out. Ennen back to throw. Here comes the pressure. Got a lot of time. Puts up a wobbler. Incomplete. That ball instead of spiraling went end over end. Looked like a dying mallard. And it'll be a fourth down now. And still about uh, 13 to go. Boy, I tell you, the guy really putting pressure on him that time was Dave Banks in that right end spot. All right, they line up in the wishbone, and now with the score eight to nothing, Hillcrest, 11.06 to go in the final period. Lake Park with a timeout would be back in 30 seconds. Enjoying your new foreign-made car, but feeling a little uneasy about getting the dents fixed, wondering where to get parts? The boys at Buyer's Body Shop are a little foreign, too. They're Swedes, Norwegians, and Germans, so they'll make you feel right at home. Of course, your American-made cars also get the same professional service at Buyer's Body Shop south of Fergus Falls on Highway 59 and Pebble Lake Road. Well, we're back again. Both coaches out there now discussing strategy, defensive strategy for Hillcrest, the offensive side of the stick for the Parkers. Eight to nothing, Hillcrest leading. Tonight, we'll be having the Fergus Falls High School and Warren High School Spud Ball game. Spud's one of the top double-A teams in the state of Minnesota. Just two weeks ago, defeated Burnsville, the defending class double-A champion, 7-zip. Awesome defense. All right, big play right here, no matter which club you're pulling for. A very deep wishbone as everybody's back deep. We look for the pass because this gives them good blocking position. Back to throw it, Lavo. Lavo, left hand, one up. Incomplete. Pass was intended down on the 10-yard line. That time for Barry Nelson. Probably over there covering. And Hillcrest will take over with 11 minutes remaining in the ball game. Hillcrest hanging on to an eight to nothing lead. Again, if you're one of those who looked at comparative scores last week, Rotsey defeated Lake Park 18 to zip. Out of the eye, Flank comes left with bang. Markson barking out the signal. Markson hands off to Cavalli. Cavalli to the outside. We'll get inside the territory of Lake Park at the 38-yard line. Defensive play, Hendrickson. Just a slant off the left side. It opened up a hole for him, and he just cruised. First and 10, Hillcrest. At the 38 in the territory of Lake Park. 
All right, out of the I formation, flank right. There's a hand up to Cavalry, slides outside, fights his way to the 33-yard line into territory of Lake Park. Kappas in on the tackle, Hendrickson assisting, and also in on the defensive play. We get a look at Jimmy Anderson. A lot of time back in that huddle now. Now Hillcrest come up over the ball. They'd like to get some frosting on the cake right here. They lead by a stand eight to nothing. Touchdown and the two extra point conversion. Good time right now. There's a handoff to Wold. Wold will get inside the 30 to the 29 yard line. Campus again on the defensive play. Campus assisted on a defensive effort by Mark Thompson. Third down and uh, about a yard to go for the first down. Wold, the short man, Cavalry, the deep man in an eye formation. Markson barks him out. Markson hands off Cavalry. Cavalry's going to be very close to the first down. I think he got it. He got close to the 26 yard line. First down. Elkis, of course, content now with ball control here in the fourth and final period. But we shouldn't use the word content because they'd like to get another six up there on the board and breathe a little easier. The I now with Bang. The short man, Mundus, is the flank on the left side. Markson barks him out. Markson back to throw. He has his man wide open again. Oh, he dropped it in the end zone. Mundus headed right in his feet hooks, standing in the end zone, but he couldn't hang on. Hit him right in the belly button and fell away. Boy, I don't care how slippery that ball was that time. Mundus, all he had to do was wrap his arms around and give it a little bear hug, and he had six. Well, that's the way the old ball bounces, they say sometimes. All right, out of a deuce. Mundus is the flank on the left side again. They're going to give him another shot. Up this time to counter back to Wold, and he's hit for a loss back to the 30-yard line. Good defensive play by Jacob. And it'll be third down. And about uh, 13 yards to go. All right, Banks goes to the flank on the right side. They do sit in the backfield this time. Let's see if Martinson will roll back and throw. Ready, Martinson rolls right. Martinson looks, a lot of time. Martinson lays the pass up, Inter uh, incomplete. Boy, he had some running room down that sideline. And instead, he decided to throw, and it was knocked down in the fourth side by Mark Thompson. And it'll be a fourth down. Eight minutes, seven seconds remaining in the ball game. Hillcrest leading it over Lake Park. Time out. We go back for 30. Architects continue to look at bids for construction of a new airport terminal in Fargo. They hope to trim those costs in order to meet the estimates set by the Fargo Airport Authority. Hi, I'm Kathy Coyle. Tonight on TV4's Eyewitness News, we'll have details on that story, as well as a preview of the 1981 wheat crop, NFC's natural gas rate hike request, and word that more hit police will now enforce a new parking ordinance. Join Charlie and company tonight at 6 and 10 on TV4 Eyewitness News to keep an eye on your world. Well, we're back again, and uh, we've had a lot of big play situations, and here's another one right here. Lake Park want to stop them and get the ball. They're down by just eight. And of course, for Hillcrest, they want to keep possession of that ball as the clock shows eight minutes and seven seconds remaining in the fourth and final period. Fundus 
is a flank on the left side. Bold and Cavalry, the setbacks as they look at an odd man defense. Back to throw is Martinson, flag on the play. Martinson rolls right. Martinson gets the pass away, and it's intercepted out of bounds, but we have a hold against Hillcrest. Well, I think they'll take the ball now instead of the penalty here because they will have possession with great field position at the 30. There it is, it's declined and Lake Park have it at their 30. First and 10, a lot of time left, eight minutes to be exact. Well, now, if you're a Hillcrest fan, you're employing the defense to dig in. If you're a Lake Park fan, see, you want your offense to go. Out of the eye. Blank comes right. And in the quarterback. And in. Hands off. And no running room. As making the defensive play was Rob Johnson, a 205-pound senior. Really that time, Ness did not get any chance to get started though because he slipped in taking off and by the time he got the ball, Johnson was breathing right down his snoot. It'll be second down and 12. Someone across the way said, where did that guy come from? Well, he was there, out of the eye. In and down underneath. In and back to throw. And in traffic, going to be hit down, lost back at the 22-yard line. Defensively, Dave Bang making the play. Boy, I tell you, Bang has had a lot of great defensive plays from that right end spot. Coming in unmolested that time, puts the old squeeze on quarterback Ennis. It'll be second down now and about 17 yards to go. Excuse me, third down and 17. Out of a deuce in the backfield. Ness and Hen no, out of a wishbone this time. All right, let's see how they go. Ennis rolls back to throw. Ennis looks, looks, still looks. That playing time fires it up to Campus. Campus at the 40. Campus hit down as he gets to the 38 in the territory of Hillcrest. Tripped up by Mundus, but that's enough for the first down. Boy, I tell you, Ennen had all day to throw that football. He dropped straight back, then rolled off to the left side. Found Campus right up the middle. <laughs> Hillcrest flip-flopping their ends on the defense. They want Fangs on the strong side of the field. Out of a deuce in the backfield. Ennen. Hands up, ball is fumbled, and Hillcrest come up with it. Who did you give it to, Mark? Heimdall coming up with a fumble. And just when it looked like Lake Park, we're gonna get it going. 5.58 remaining. Still a lot of time left in this football game. All right, let's see how they come. They line up in a deuce in the backfield. Bangs is the flank on the left side. Martinson parking out the signal. Hands off to Wold. Wold is going to be hit down by Campus as he picked up about two. Campus came all the way from the other side of the field to get him. Well, I tell you, this Campus reminds us so much in his movements and everything of uh, Vince. Myrtle Macho out at the community cause built about the same, only about 30 pounds lighter at 205. All right, they deuce it in the backfield. Nope, they go to the wishbone. All right, ready to go. There's the handoff to Cavalry. Cavalry busts through on the right side. He's gonna to get to about the 30, uh, 32 yard line. 
Coming away on the defensive play, we get a look at uh, Kamstra. Third down now, and about two and a half to go for the first down. Block the ally of Hillcrest with 4.30 remaining in the fourth and final period. All right, out of a deuce in the backfield, Frank left. Marks it, barking him out again. Marks into Wold. Wold puts the head down. He's not going to, well, it's going to be very close. He might have it with a forward progress. First down. Jacob, number 73, that would be Jimmy Anderson, in on a play. First and 10 as the ball's over the 30 at the 29 in the territory of Lake Park. Four minutes and nine seconds remaining. Hillcrest leading Lake Park eight to nothing. Out of the I formation, flank left, odd on the defense. And off back to Cavalry. Cavalry goes to the far side. Kappas has him right around the leg as they're down at the 26 yard line. And Cavalry is hurt. Oh, that could be a blow to him. And while they're attending to him, we'll go back for 30 seconds. If you need a good, plain, reliable, late model used car or truck, you need quality auto sales at 625 East Vernon in Fergus Falls. You need to talk to one of those friendly, helpful guys at Quality Auto Sales. Got stop hold for Paul Tisber. You need to see their lineup of quality used cars and trucks, and you need to remember this phone number, 739-3247. That's 739-3247. Quality Auto Sales, Fergus Falls. Need I say more? Hi, we're back again. It looks like the left that they're looking at right now. And uh, we'll stay right here with it, see what uh, is happening with it. And they're helping him up. And he's walking off under his own power, very gingerly, but coming off. And I think if needed, you'll see Mr. Cavalier back in this ball game. 3.33 remaining in the ball game. Clock rolling, of course, as that was an official timeout for the injury. And now they're watching for the 32nd violation. Nope, they're going to get it off. There's a pitch back to Wold. Wold goes to the outside. Wold is going to be hit down as he gets inside the 25 to the 24. Stopping the clock, of course. And that's one thing that a Hillcrest fan didn't want to see. All right, it'll be third down now and about uh, six yards to go. Eight to nothing, Hillcrest lead it. Three minutes, 11 seconds remaining. Boy, they could have run another 20 off, they hadn't gone out of bounds with. Out of the eye. Flank left, there's the handoff to Wold. He fumbles the ball and Lake Park have it at the 25 yard line. Coming off the ball for Lake Park, number 77, Kurt Knudsen. Three minutes, six seconds still remaining. And Lake Park defense called on now. All right, out of the eye formation, flank left. Eight to nothing, Hillcrest lead it. All right, in and hands off to Peterson. Peterson breaks the tackles and goes to the 34 yard line. Bangs over there. Mark Bang making the defensive play. Bought an eight yard uh, scamper. Second down and two. Two minutes, 30 seconds remaining. Not out of realm of an overtime right here. Out of the eye formation, the flank comes right. And then barks out the signal, takes a look at the defense. Now he has his club set. And there's a legal procedure.
Did not have that old chin strap hooked up. Oh, what a costly penalty that was. That makes it second down now, and instead of second and two, it'll be second down and seven. 2.13 remaining. High formation. Flank on the right side. Back to throw is Ennis. Ennis fires it out on the side. Diving grab. Nope, did not hang on as the ball got away as the pass was intended for Nelson. Over there covering on the play that time was Rockness. And we have the quarterback in and down on the field. We'll go back to the studio for 30 seconds. 50 years of excellence, Boland's Lawn and Garden Tractors from Interstate Service, I-94 on the Wendell Road, Fergus Falls. Fergus Motors in Fergus Falls, formerly Fergus Dodge, is where you will end up driving the bargain. Shop the big value brand name fashion collection for the entire family at Bostwick's. It's a fact, not just a slogan. Bostwick's buys better so you can. Bostwick's in the Westridge Mall, Fergus Falls. All right, we're back again as Ennin is getting up. He was holding his side before as if he uh, a rib and Lobold will come in now at quarterback. Randy Innan, 135 pound junior, has been their quarterback. And now coming in will be Lobo. Or wait a while, 14, Savick. Savick will be their quarterback. Savick. Rolls to throw, and he's going to be swarmed under back into 20. Johnson in there. Heimdall in there. And a timeout called by Lake Park. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Run off about 26 seconds, or about 24 seconds on each one of these. 25 is all they get. They better not run off 26. And there it is. Delay, 153, I guess that's right. Down to 114, they took too long. It was 153 when they put her in play. All right, up over the ball come the Comets. They have second down and about uh, 13 yards to go. They deuce it in the backfield and flank on the left side. Martinson, the quarterback, down underneath, barks him out. Martinson pitches back, trying to get some room as Rognes, I believe, and Rognes will get hit down as he gets to the 21. Jacobs is there. Also in a defense play, we get a look at Barry Nelson, and uh, helping them is Kurt N uh, Knutson. Second down, third down. And uh, 52 seconds remaining. Coach Risbrut sending in signals from the sideline. Unofficially, uh, Lake Park with one timeout remaining. Line up in. And there's the flag again. I thought we had 56 seconds. And 25. Boy. Right on the nose, 25, I'll tell you. They're not getting any extra. And it'll be third down, about 16 yards to go. But more important for Hillcrest, only 31 seconds showing on the clock. All right, there's the uh, quarterback just keeping the ball, and by no one got to him. So he finally retreats back to about the 32-yard line and then falls down. He could have run off about 10 seconds on the clock just running around back there. That looked like they were playing that old parlor game of drop the hanky. Nobody went to him at all. That must have been one of those Norwegian plays that Kolbeck set in. Kolbeck's son. We got to get that right now. He changed his name to Kolbeck's son. Pure-blooded Norwegian from Brooklyn. 
All right, 23 seconds remaining. Fourth down. And unless they use up 23 on this, uh, and if uh, Lake Park have something set up, they're going to get a uh, chance to run a play or so. Clock will not start, of course, after timeout until the snap of the ball. They deuce it in the backfield, flank Mundus on the left side. And going back and throwing the ball. Downfield incomplete. Almost got a TD, but it stopped the clock and gives uh, Lake Park 17 seconds. They can get three plays cranked up here. Well, they throw the passes to the outside, go out of bounds. If the pass are un incomplete, they stop the clock. Now let's see if they'll square out and go to the outside for the passes. Savig is the quarterback. He's going to put up a Hail Mary pass. You can bet on it. All right. Savig back. Savig looking. Good block by Kappas. Pass out on the side. Complete. Nope, dropped it. Ooh, Hendrickson had it, but didn't hang on at the 29. Still nine seconds remaining. Again, of course, the play will not start until the ball is snapped, so uh, they'll get this playoff without any sweat. All right, ready to go. Deuced in the backfield, flank left. All right, Savick back to throw. Savick looks, cranks it out on the side. Going to be intercepted by Bang, and he's going to be hit down at the 25 as the ball game ends. Hillcrest win it 8 to nothing. We'll be back in one minute. All right, we're back again. Let's take a look at it quickly. Real defensive struggle between two good defensive football teams in the Agassiz Valley Conference here as Hillcrest defeated Lake Park eight to nothing. The scoring, well, it was a 51-yard bomb from Martinson uh, to his uh, end. Uh, Dave Bang with 3.07 to go in the first period with six to nothing. No good on the uh, pass try for the two points. So it was six to nothing after one, six to nothing after two. Then in the third period, Cavley and Mark Bangs tackled the punter in the end zone at 433, made it eight to nothing, and that's the way your ball game ended up. A real good physical high school football game between these two excellent football teams. So now for Hillcrest, they are unbeaten as they prepare to go to Rotsay next week against the Rod State Tigers. <laughs>